Well, this is a recap of my first year on YouTube. I started with my first hunt in 2021 in May, and when I just found a penny with my dad in the front yard. First is first. Then I did my first actual hunt, which was a seated hunt with Nugget Noggin Live, his second. And I found some silvers. He taught me some stuff, how to use my detector. Had a great time. It was an awesome hunt. So it looks like another rosy. Reads 80, not 80s. Yep, there we go. Another rosy. Found a whole bunch right in this one small area. Then I was very lucky to find the late Joe Dutton's first seat at Civil War Hunt that turned out to be full of natural finds. I found five seated bullets, but then there were carbine sling buckles and flat buttons and a New York National Guard um, artillery button. It was an amazing hunt for someone who didn't know what they were doing. I found this buckle. It was really deep. I don't know how old it is. I'll ask somebody later, but look at that. Oh my gosh, I've never found anything like that. This is my first flat button. It's got the shank on it. Super cool. I rounded off 2022 with my third seated hunt, a local hunt by a local guy, and it's where I discovered the ONSD, the Old North State Detectorist, and that would change my life for the next year, and all of the more than a dozen hunts that I got to participate in. Throughout the year, I taught my nieces metal detecting. I got them a MIDI hoard and a pin pointer, and we've had so much fun learning and finding things. I gotta remember to record this way. It's a nice day, beautiful sky. We had some hellacious storms last night even beautiful so this is where I found two clad pennies and a clad quarter and a whole buckle because it's for the horse tack. The original barn was here but then they had to rebuild it when it burned. Just gorgeous today. So still out here getting ready to leave gonna go do some fabric shopping. I'll have a prize I wanted pineapple fabrics on my way home maybe get some food it's a gorgeous, still a gorgeous day out here. I could just stay in here all day. It's just gorgeous. Then in March, I went to the massive Dig Stock 5 and had an absolute blast. Met some people I'd only seen on YouTube and met some new friends who have become even better friends online since. It was such a great weekend. So we've been finding all these tubes in the field and I found this which was smaller. It turns out it's part of a wall, uh, ever sharp mechanical pencil. Mine says sterling. It's solid sterling made in the 20s by wall, W-A-H-L. Awesome! I'm on the board with an actual find. Woo woo!
So I'm gonna do a quick wrap up outside the machine shed where I'm parked. The distance you can see the house that was from the 1800s. People are still gonna detect. Most of us are leaving. I gotta go home and round up the nieces who are with the grandparents. But this was a great hunt. I had so much fun. Really only found one thing. Everything else was can slaw or junk. And that was an 1813 large net. My very first and my oldest coin ever. All right, check it back. Got a ring. Keep swinging back and forth. Right there? Yeah, right here. Right here. Okay, so where's your shovel? Pipe present. So Adeline, how was your first metal detecting Easter egg hunt? Good. I found I found almost every single egg. And there were coins in the eggs, but then there were just coins on the ground. Did you find those too? Yes, I found everything on here. As luck would have it, I got to go to Dig Stock 6 during my spring break. I met a great group of people. We dug for Indian artifacts. We dug for historic finds. I didn't find a ton, but I even found a quilt in the woods. Hello, Quilter Finds Quilt. It was just so much fun. Can't wait to go back again. Good morning. Walking down the road. It's beautiful. Slightly cool morning. A little misty, though it wasn't supposed to rain at all today. We're supposed to get some sun, but whether we do or not, it's okay. So I love all these trees. Again, this is the ONSD Hunt, Old North State Detectorist uh, for number four for the year. The mini hunt got postponed from last weekend and it's going to be next weekend, but I'm going to be at Nugget and Noggin Live next weekend and I can't wait. So let's see what we find. In 2023, I went to my second Nugget Noggin Live. I had even more fun than the first. I can't wait to go back again this year. Always well run, always lots of prizes. In fact, I won my Excalibur shovel and a peace dollar this year. Can't wait for it again. Good morning. It is May 13th, two days after my birthday, which was sucky because someone rear-ended me and I spent till all the evening hours in the ER and then all yesterday curled up with pills and now I'm metal detecting this early 1700s farm that hasn't been lived on in a long time. The house was right there. They tore it down but there's still some a blacksmith shop back there. I haven't gone back there yet. And there's a barn up at the front of the property right there. Um, they used to have the persimmon festival here for 17 years and then the owner died in 2021 and they stopped having the festival. There is a grove of persimmon trees and my sister would love me to dig one up for her father-in-law but they're a little big for me and I'm still a little sore and the ground here is hard as a rock. I can't get down more than four or five inches if then. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. So we're detecting today at the Charles Benbow house. I think this is our sixth hunt of the year. Um, it's an 1823 Quaker style house with federal. I'll put more information in later. We have until noon to hunt this place and it's a beautiful day. Walking down to go into the woods, as you can see this dense woods, 400 and some acres. It's a shame it's all going to be torn down to build homes because there are some big trees in here. Um, this tree right behind me 
is actually a small of some of the big trees I've seen in here. Um, it's an old property. We're gonna go detect an old house today. See what we can find. Here we are, uh, last Saturday of August. We're hunting, we're gonna hunt again tomorrow on this 450 acre property. I'm working my way through the woods. Just found a 70s can, so it's a pull tab. So you can tell there's old stuff. So who are you? Are you Princess Duck Digger? Yeah. And what did you do today, Princess Duck Digger? Dig. What did you dig for? Find coins. Some coins. How many coins did you find? A lot. A lot. Say 23. 23. Oh, and what was the big one you found? Wait a minute, it's still in your pouch. I'll give it to you, you can hold it. What was the big one you found? Do you remember? Say an Eisenhower dollar. Eisenhower dollar. Hold it up so we can see it. Whoa, that's huge. And what did you use to find these coins? What is this called? Your what? Um, pin pointer. Your pin pointer, that's right. And did it work well? Yes. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. And what do you get when you're six? Metal detector! Woo! Yahoo! Here I am at the OSD, ONSD uh, September seated hunt. Everybody is lined up, ready to go. Drop my shovel. Beautiful day. Sunrise coming up over Beauregard Farm. Here at the opening meeting. Uh, DIV 55. Everybody's hanging out. I am riding with Joe and John. They are my carpool. There are just some people here I've met that I know, kind of, from other places. And here we go. All right, so I thought all I found was aluminum today and a couple nails, but look at this. It's some kind of hubcap, probably 100 years old. We're not, we're leaving everything with the homeowner because the old family is gonna come by and look at stuff. But this is my find of the day. This cool, old, maybe Chevy hubcap. Awesome. For Christmas, my awesome dad decided to do a seated hunt with me as the metal detectorist. My nieces helping me find 13 different things. Boxes and a few artifacts or relics and we couldn't open them. We had to collect them all, take them inside, and then we looked at them all together. Check out my list of videos to see the full length of what happened. And please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Lucky Duck Digger 2. Till next time.